Hello YouTube, welcome back to RPG Dawn. On this episode, we're going to discuss how to create custom images for our custom weapons and how to make sure they show up during a battle. First, you're going to want to make sure you have a program that will let you save transparent images. You can use programs such as Adobe Photoshop, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use paint.net. I'll leave a link to paint.net in the description. We're going to open paint.net. Once you open your program, you're going to want to get a template to make your weapons with. This is the site we're going to use to get our template. I'll also leave a link to this site in the description. Once you are here, scroll down until you find the weapon category. You can use either set, but we are going to use a set with words on it. Click on the set, then click Save Image. Once the screen pulls up, right click the image and choose Save Image As. Give it a name you'll remember, then save it. We are going to save our image to the desktop for simplicity. Make sure you save your image as a PNG image. When you're ready, choose Save. You can now exit the screen. Once you're back in your painted program, choose File, then Open. The next thing to do is to locate the file your game is saved in. I will go to Computer, then Documents, Games, then I'll choose the name of my game. I'll choose Test. Once here, choose the IMG folder. Now go to System. You're going to see Weapon 1, 2, and 3. For this tutorial, we're going to use Weapons 3. We are going to edit Weapons 3 to make our images show up in battle. Make a copy of Weapons 3 to fix any mistakes that may happen later on. Right click, copy. Save it to a place you will remember. For this tutorial, we'll save it to our desktop by minimizing all the boxes and right click paste on our desktop. Now that we know where our image is and have a backup, we can go to our painting tool, choose file, then open. Navigate to our file by choosing documents, games, the name of our game, the IMG folder, the system folder, then once there, Scroll down to the Weapons 3. Choose Weapons 3, then Open. Your image should look something like this. One weapon is already here on the top. Next, we're going to want to add the template image we saved earlier. In Paint.net, the way we do this is by clicking the Layers, then choose Import from File. Locate your templates. Our image was saved to the desktop, so we'll choose Desktop, then click the template. Your screen should look something like this. Clicking a layer should make that layer visible. Choose the layer where the books were and make sure that layer is on the top. The highlighted layer is the layer on the top. For paint.net, if you don't see your books on top while you're highlighting that layer, click the blue up arrow. Now that our weapons are above the text, we can start to work on our new weapons. Either import your images and move them so they're over each box or draw new ones here. For this tutorial, I'll simply draw a few. I'm going to choose my color, then the paintbrush tool on the left toolbar. I'll draw three images roughly around where the images of the book are. I'm going to draw a simple sword. Always make sure the layer you are working on is the layer with the books. Now that I have a sword in the ready box, I'll draw how I want the sword to look while it's attacking. Lastly, the idle box. Now that all the images are done, I can click on the template background and choose the X to delete it. You'll see a preview of your weapons here. Now that you have this ready, go to File, Save As, and save over the original Weapons 3 in the folder of your game. If it asks you to replace it, choose Yes. For Paint.net, I'll leave the Auto Detect button checked. Then I'll choose OK. We can now exit Paint.net. Head back over to RPG Maker and go to your database. Choose Weapon, then give an additional weapon slot. Name your weapon, name your weapon, and apply any statistics such as traits or parameter changes that you would like. Choose Apply. Now, choose the Types tab. Change the maximum of your weapon types to add an additional spot. Click the new weapon type, then the bar below, and name the type of weapon. Choose Apply. Next, go back to your Weapons tab. Choose your new weapon, then where it says Weapon Type, Choose that bar and click your new weapon type. Choose Apply. Lastly, head over to System. You should now see the name of your new weapon type under SV Attack Motions. Double click it. Choose a motion you would like. Since I'm using a sword, I'm going to choose the Swing Motion. Now, head over to Images. Weapons 3 images are represented here under User Defined. The blue book we saw earlier 
would be user defined one. The image directly under the books, which is where we drew our new weapon, is user defined two. We'll choose that, then click OK. Apply, and OK. One final note. You will only see your new weapons under side battles. To make side battles, go to your database, system, and check the use side view battle. Apply, then OK. I'm going to give my character a way to obtain this new weapon for the sake of the tutorial. I'll right click a spot where I want the weapon to be, choose quick event creation, and a treasure chest. I'll go to weapons, then choose my new weapon, and click OK. We can now test our game. Choose play, and always remember to save your changes before testing. I'm going to open the chest, go to my menu, choose equip, the hero, equip again, the weapon, and my new weapon. I'll now seek an encounter. You should see your new weapon under a normal attack. I'll go to fight, attack, and choose a target. There we saw our animation. I'll do it once more. You can experiment with the placement of your weapon on the image to make it be seen less or more. That concludes this episode. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what you would like me to make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.